In November 1995, a group of six guys met with the intention of trying to form a gay rugby club. From those six guys drinking in a bar, we now have not only a large club here in West Ham, Kings Cross Steelers, but we have a worldwide organisation with some 80 different rugby clubs all over the world. It is a family and we have over 250 members based in West Ham in East London um, and you know, it's a real brotherhood of people that have come together to learn the sport and enjoy the sport. There was a general need for all sorts of sports clubs in the mid-1990s. A society freed itself up and uh, the gay community felt confident enough to participate in different sports. Well, back in 1995, when the club was founded, the, the, there just weren't any other facilities or um, outlet texts for gay men who enjoyed sport. I'd say, you know, the, the club also founded, you know, Gay and Inclusive Rugby, which is now over 100 clubs strong around the world. Back in the day, there's no question, the idea that a gay man would play rugby was unbelievable to large numbers of rugby players. As far as they were concerned, there was a stereotype about gay men. And one of the great successes of the Steelers and the whole worldwide rugby organization is that we've killed that myth. The biggest challenge was actually the media. There were one or two, uh, what one would re regard now as homophobic headlines, but being a group of rugby players, we just laughed it off as we did other bits of attention. Society is completely different. Those guys, I think, faced a lot more obstacles in terms of prejudices that they're up against. There's very few instances of homophobia in the game. It's not disappeared, uh, it still does happen, but it's normally a few as opposed to a mass. Um, and actually the teams are really good at self-governing because they like playing us. You know, we give them a good competition, we're good at rugby. Through the years, our first and seconds have gone up the leagues. People now know us uh, for our brand of rugby, not just for the whole inclusive thing. We've made huge strides in our playing progress and I think we're getting a lot of respect through from that now. They judge you mostly now on your ability on the pitch. Um, and I think that's what sport is all about, being judged on the pitch first. It's had a massive impact on me, improving my fitness, uh, but then socially as well. The Steelers has uh, provided me of uh, some of my closest friends now who I've known for years. To say I'm proud of the club would be an understatement. I think in the 25 years that we've been going, we've done huge amounts to break down boundaries in homophobia and sport, to help build other sport uh, clubs around the world, and to make sure that you know rugby truly is the most inclusive sport for all. Life is about overcoming challenges, and the club as a whole did that and did it very successfully.